Hey, what's up, gang? All right, today we're going to go over SEO Pilot. Now, for you newbies out there that don't even know what SEO stands for. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Search engine optimization. If you'd like to rank on Google search, you will need some SEO work done, most likely, and you would need to optimize your website. A tool like SEO Pilot is a Chrome extension, and it also has an AI writer built in. This will help you optimize your website and also check on the competition, other websites that are ranking for said keywords that you are trying to rank for. So let's take a look. Let's go over to the deal page. SEO Pilot is currently offering a lifetime deal on Rocket Hub. And we scroll down here. That lifetime deal means a one-time payment. They have three different tiers, $99, $199, You could check all this out later on, but if you would like just the extension, the Chrome extension of SEO Pilot, you can purchase that as well from Rocket Hub. It's $49. There is a free version, but it's limited in what it can do. So if you just want the extension, you can grab it here. But if you want the AI writer, included because SEO pilot also creates content, helps you create content from pages that you are scanning off the internet. As you're surfing SEO pilot, I always feel like it's a co-pilot is with you for the ride. So you can take a look at the deal later. Just thought I'd share where you can find it. This is the SEO pilot dashboard. There's an article writer in here. You can do a normal article, long article, the article tone, you want it to be informative, friendly, excited. Language, third person, first person, second person. The outline source, you can do system generate outline, a custom outline where you enter them in yourself here, or you can get an outline from URL. They copy paste from somewhere else and SEO pilot will create the outline for you. You could disable the introduction, the conclusion, you could add table contents, whatever you like, featured image, add a prompt, some links, you can add other links, and then you can create an article. I kind of got sidetracked. This is the article writer part. Let's go back and look at the extension in action. I'm on this pizza place website. I like pizza, if you can't tell and you would click on the SEO pilot little yellow icon up here and it's always there while you're browsing the internet SEO pilots up there and as you can see what SEO pilot does is it scans this website this home page it tells you word character count how many words are in there the title if you want to optimize a, a website a web page you would like to have the title tag up top it'll tell you it'll show you what they're optimized for what town they're hitting for this page I probably would have done this a little differently description if there's a uh, meta tag robots meta tag uh, gives you the headings so this is great if you're an SEO yourself and you have a client coming to you potential client and they want you to check out a website you just Go to this, boom, this is usually what I use. I used to use SEO Minion. There's other extensions like this, but I feel like this one is better. It's newer and it's influenced by this new AI world we're in. That's the other part I was discussing previously about the AI content that it can produce. But this is the really the starting point. This is something I use every day. Even if you get the free version, it'll give you a lot of this. Or if you wanna pay the $49 for the lifetime deal, you can get all the data that you want from a website web page. Shows you the H1, H2, all the heading structure. For people out there that don't know what the heck I'm talking about, an H2, headings, basically. Every page on a site has an H1 tag, a heading tag. And then it has multiple heading H2s, H3s, anything you just see larger and bolder, those are usually the headings. So you can deconstruct this website simply with SEO Pilot. Um, it shows you images on a site, uh, the open graph, the description, stuff behind the scenes that you wouldn't really see right away unless you went on Google, um, the Twitter graph, total links, unique links, all the internal links on the page, where everything's going, the external links that are heading out, broken links. So if you want to audit the page, the site, you could find the broken links right away right here. 
So that's all pretty cool. And as you go through different pages, obviously this information will change right here. It's really a nice little extension. It's real lightweight and keep it on all the time. And anytime I'm on a site, I just click on it and I get the information of the site. Contact information, their Facebook, their phone numbers listed. Sometimes it displays on here, sometimes it doesn't. Missing data, it says here, you can just scroll to the bottom of the page to make sure everything's loaded. And then you click the refresh icon and see if it reloads. And now the AI writer. So this is the added bonus to SEO Pilot. If you just want the extension to assist you optimizing your website and giving you behind the scenes of your website or a client's website or someone else's website, just give you an x-ray, that's the first part that we've shown, the, this part of the extension. Now you have the AI writer, the artificial intelligence writer. It is grabbing the information from this page. Say you're out there, you like a page on a, someone's site, and you're like, wow, I want to use this as a foundation and maybe write some content for myself. Try not to plagiarize, try to be morally good. Don't, don't be bad and don't just steal things. But this will come up with something for you. Let's see. Best vacation spots in Europe. All right, so let's go here. Let's go to this best places to visit in Europe for last year, this year. Okay, so it gives you this nice page, right? You want to write an article about this. Click on my little SEO pilot extension. And again, gives the summary, how many words, if you get an idea of if you want to outrank this one, some will argue, yes, you want to have that many words. These days I've seen people do it with less, so up to you, but you can kind of see what you're working against here. All the headings it's using, structure setup, the images, internal links, got a lot of internal links there. Contact info. All right, let's go to the AI writer for this. It's giving you the title, protect your trip. That probably might be reading an ad there, but we can just say best places to visit in Europe. If you want to change it, you change it. Actually gave it right here as well. So. That was just the title for the project, but I want to keep it consistent. And then you could edit all these as well. So we can keep that as an H2. Maybe we could just do this one for now. We'll just leave it for now. It's fine. And then it's pulling all these areas, all these locations that's getting from this page. Well, that's a lot of places to visit. It's going to get expensive. Uh, you may be interested in, okay, targeting cookies. Now it will pull everything from the page. You want to remove some stuff here. Cookie list. We don't need that. And then I think it might be choosing, pulling from other articles that might be on there. So you may be interested in, this is the other section. Let's see. Yeah. Vote to add. This is other parts of the blogs. So we would just delete that. You could add them if you want, but I would make these separate articles. We have all that. Let me go down here, article length, and we'll do the short article for now. Best, you can add all the keywords that you would like it to include in there. And then if you would like a tone for the article, but we don't need that. We could just go for it, generate article. And your article has been submitted. It may take several minutes for ChatGPT to write your article. So it has that, and then it should show up in your dashboard. Now, what you want to do also with SEO Pilot is add your own key, uh, BYOK, bring your own key. Uh, you basically would need API access to OpenAI, which anyone can do, and then you pay as you go. But now they're actually saying you fill it up first, you pay $20 or $40 or whatever, and then it'll pull from your account each time. It'll be like pennies to just pull each time you write an article. So that's where the fuel comes from. You need an API key and that's right here. You click there, you enter that, you, ent you add the API, this way it'll work. And let's see my articles. Yep. It's a success. Let's click on that. And then here's your article that it produced best places to visit in Europe. And you'll see it's still working, I believe, or it's because I only put a thousand. I don't know. Well, this one hit a snag. Of course, when I'm doing a live test of it, 
some problems. My preference, my workflow has been to use the extension to examine sites quickly. I'm on a call, I'm talking to a client. I use it for the SEO purposes first. It's replaced other tools that I've used in the past, uh, like SEO Minion, other extensions. For this, check it out. It, it can be very helpful. For the writer, you can use the extension to immediately grab something from a page. But I have been creating articles straight from the SEO Pilot dashboard. I've used the extension to help me with outlines from page, getting an idea for an outline. This gave a nice outline on the source website and looking at the information. But if you're going to just, you want to create content for your website, you can just go here and just to create article, log into SEO pilot, go in here, check out what you want to set up GPT-4 turbo or 3.5. It's recommended to leave like this, what kind of article type, blog article, best type of art size for an artist. What are the best type of art supplies for an artist? Let's try that. And then in here, I could put in oil paint, oil pints, oil paints, acrylics, watercolors, brushes, whatever you want to add. Target keywords. Uh, I'm going to do a normal article. Should we make it friendly? Let's just make it SEO optimized, clear language, default country, you could leave it. Uh, third person's fine. What type of outline do I want? Do I want the system to generate it or I can make my own or pull it from another? Let's say I want to pull it. Now, SEO Pilot's also one of the AI writing platforms that gives you these three options. A lot of them will give you one or two, but not all three. Uh, let's see. Let's Google. So we'll search for this and let's, let's take this one. It's ranking number one. Let's copy and paste this URL, put it in here. Okay, I don't want that, I don't want that. Get outline. So Hunt and Lancer, I believe is, yeah, that's the name of the page. We don't want that. Uh, that could be an H2, easel, canvas. It's pulling from that article. We could have just had the system do it itself, or we could have added our own, but we'll just go with this. Now search, go through this again, but you want to delete things that aren't relevant. So it needs a little customization here. I guess we could keep that in there just for fun. Why not? Okay. So now the outlines in there you can also edit the text to anything here. If you want to change the wording. Okay, you want to do a featured image. You could grab something from a stock photo or use Dolly and generate an AI image. If you want to add an, another prompt in here to guide it and let us just see everything's good to go. Did a thousand, you know what? Let's do 2,000, 3,500 might be a bigger one. Create article. All right, so now it's creating my article. Optimizing the output. Now, let's see if this one works. Essential art supplies for every artist. All right, there you go. Every artist benefits. You can see the content is pretty good. And it's saved here if you want. And if you want to publish it, you can export it, connect it to your WordPress website, whatever you like. Let's, I like to take this. I don't check for AI content anymore, like with originality and those other tools. I just go through manually edit things. I don't like any AI kind of watermark words and add some content and help it read better. But I do like to go to plagiarism sites like Copyscape and to see how original the content is that it produces. Let's see. All right, this one passed. That's important. So you could see SEO pilot produced content that is not showing any percentage of plagiarism. That's great. That's a good start. Then visually go through the content and make sure there's nothing in there that 
is mentioning the another brand that you didn't want it to mention. I would beef these up more, probably would have added more H3s, more content. You could even take this and continue writing with the expanded AI writing or rephrase it if you want to expand it. You could replace it. So it's a nice AI writing tool. Bonus to the SEO part of it. So it should be like SEO pilot AI. And then you see it just beefed it up and replace. And then it just added all that there. So you can do that. You can beef up each section. Everything can be done here. Or you can copy paste and throw it into ChatGPT or Claude and expand on it. SEO pilot, thumbs up as a Chrome extension, super helpful, help you with your workflow and your process. Whether you're just have a small business and you want to work on your website, and if you want to learn more about how the internet works and how pages rank on Google, you can start seeing correlations by using this extension and browsing and clicking on websites and seeing what's in common, word counts, what kind of headings they're all using, title tags, internal linking. It's a nice little app to give an x-ray on a website, a web page. And again, the AI writer, everyone's AI writing these days. You don't want to spam. You don't want to, you still want to think for yourself a little bit. You still want to write. You can use that as a guide, or you can have it produce some content for you, get the flow going. It's an all-in-one and it's a pretty good deal. Like I said, you got a free version of the extension. You got a $49 if you just want the extension, but you want all the features of the extension. Then if you want the AI writing part, you get the deal where the price is obviously higher, but it's a one-time payment and you can get one of these packages. So you get the all-in-one. Try it out. You contact Rocket Hub. Let me know what you think. If you try the free version, how you like it and what you'd like to see improved. All right. I'll talk to you guys all later and have a good rest of your day, morning, week, a weekend. Bye-bye.